Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be teaching you how to make the screenoline fascinator. Now I'll be making use of the screenoline, measuring tape, Alice band, needle and thread, scissors, and any fabric of your choice that you use to cover this Alice band. Now, Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Now, we'll be making use of three yards of the screen only. About three yards of it. This is about six inches width screen only. So, we'll be making use of three yards of the screen only. Now, I'll start by securing the edge of this my crinoline with my needle and thread just the way i'm doing it just watch what i'm doing it is very very simple just tight this way we've been securing edges of crinoline so this is not the first time i'm doing this I'm just saying it for emphasis sake, maybe for beginners. Now, the same way you did this, you did do it to the other edge of it. So, secure the two edges, or rather the two ends of the crinoline. Now, we're going to start our running stitch. This might not be the popular running stitch you used to know. See the way I'm doing this. It is not from the middle. It's a bit by the side. And as I'm doing this running stitch, you can see the way I'm holding this place down. I'll be holding it down with my hands just for that end to look like a rose after I'm done with this running stitch. Just look at the way I'm doing it. As I'm doing this running stitch, I'm holding down that place. Just watch to the end and see the way I'm going to hold it down finally. So this crinoline making is just a simple method of doing a fastnetto when you don't have any accessory to use on it. Just watch the way it is going. As I'm sewing, I'm gathering the other end of it. Just watch and see what I'm doing. So... I keep doing this until I get to this other end of it. So when I get to that end, I will hold it down very well. And I'll arrange it properly the way I really want it to be. See the way I'm just turning it, but I'm still holding down the other place. Can you see the way I'm doing it? So this is just um, a little illustration of how that fascinator on that picture looks like. Actually, I'm the one when I was quite younger in that picture. Then you can tie up this end very well if it's not properly tied and with your needle and thread still on it you sew it this way see the way i am sewing it from the under i brought it out at the top so you keep arranging it and you know can you see the design is already out that flower like design is out at the front so you keep sewing it the way 
you want it to be but sewing it is like trying to make it look tight so this is the way it looks like you can cut out the thread and tie it up attach your alice band you can use three four yards of crinoline depending on how big or how small you want it to look so that is that thanks for watching